Hello, Uncle. Good day. How is it? We are all okay, Uncle. We thank God. Yes, sir. Please. Is your husband in the house? Yes, sir. He is. Let me get him for you. I have something very important to talk to you. My husband! My husband! Hey. Yes, my husband. Please come, Uncle is here to see you. Ah, Uncle. Huh? It's one that you are here. Hmm. I hope there is no problem. Oh, yes, I bring a seat. I'll ask her. Please, my husband, let me continue in the kitchen. Here for one reason. Okay. Um, it's been since one year since your father, my brother, died. And uh, I have not yet seen the document of his Coco Fat. I, as his only surviving brother. So, I have come to make it clear to you. That is time for me to start going through those documents to know the in and out of what he left behind. Uncle, I don't understand what you are saying. Here. Meanwhile, none of my father's farm was handed to you even before his death. So you want to change the custom and the tradition of our people? I hope you know the repercussion and the calamity that befall you. I don't know of such tradition that stipulates such a rubbish law. Rubbish law, you say? Yes, of course. I see you are the stubborn type. I'll give you a few days. A few days to get the papers ready. And when I'm coming, I will come with my many different colors. Yes. I am waiting for you. Hmm. I am waiting for you. I'll get myself ready for you. You will get off. Come back here. They did not follow the trap which their parents taught them. Amen. So learn to obey your parents. That is what the Bible says. Amen. And that is a commandment of God. So if you don't obey your parents, God will punish you. Amen. Contemplating if my eyes are deceiving me or not. No, your eyes are not deceiving me. Ah, Pastor, it's been long. My sister, you know, the Lord sent me to this village. I never knew this was your village. The Lord sent me here to preach the good news to the people. Oh, that's so, so kind of you. Yes. 
So, how is everybody in the city? No, they are fine. They are all fine. Oh, we bless God. And you? What about your husband? Hmm? First of all, as you can see, my husband is fine. We are all okay. We thank God. Okay. So, when you go home, you greet him for me. Okay, I will do just that, Pastor. All right. I hope you will be in church tomorrow. Yes, I will be there. See, I just can't wait to meet you tomorrow in church life. See, in short, eh, I will tell my husband. Yeah, let me not just meet you. I will tell my husband. My sister, you're blessed. Hey, okay, Pastor, let me hurry up, okay? All right. Let me go get something ready for my husband okay. before he comes back. Asking me for papers. Papers? What papers? Papers that contains all the details of my of all that my father owned. That tradition demands that after six months of my father's death, I need to hand the right documents to the right person who happens to be my uncle, his only surviving brother. What? Is this serious? What happened to you then? I will show this man what he wants. I will make sure and I will kill him and bury him in that same family. Ah, ah, my husband. No! No, don't speak like this. It hasn't gotten to that. For crying out loud, he's still your uncle. Hey, my husband. He is still your uncle. Let's address this in a family way. Please. What did you just say? You know that man will fight for that farm. He, will, he is going to fight for the rights of that farm. To the last blood drop. 
You know what that means? Yes, my husband, I know. I know everything. I know it. everything you're saying is true. Eh? But even at that, this is not the right way to handle it. Eh? Reason with me. Let's report him to the council. Let's meet the Sang Let's meet Sangamboka. I think he will have the lasting solution to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you be talking about killing somebody? No, I don't mm -hmm. abide to that. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. I swear I love you, my husband. It's late. Please, let's get inside. Mm -hmm. to have paid you a visit at this late hour of the night. From the look of things, it's not well. How do I help you? Thank you, Tata. Reason being that... <sighs> it's strong. What is the problem? Talk to your father. I'm very restless. Tata, mm -hmm. my rumor is everywhere in your community. People are saying that I doesn't belong here, that I'm a foreigner in a land that I know that is my own land. And uh, I have come to see for you. That I'm born. I'm my niece. As a custodian of the people's tradition and culture, I have come to seek for your help. That you should help me to let me know who exactly my parents are. Mbo, Tata. Yes, Tata. Mbo. Since it took us father, dad, my father-in-law, we don't have peace. Yes, my daughter. At times we cook food by ourselves, but we can't eat the food. Our house is on fire. That's a fire. We don't have peace. It has been from one problem to another. So, we know you, you are our last bus stop. And you are the only one to put a solution to all these problems that we are facing right now. So please, we are begging you to help your children because we are sick and tired. We don't have rest in our own house. Tata, mm. please help your children. My son. It's okay. Tata, please. Get closer to me. Get closer to me. Come and sit down beside me. Okay. Sit down. Please, sit down. Don't be afraid. Sit. 
You see, my son, indeed your mother brought you in this village. Yes. But truly, I can't really tell you who your parents are. You know, your mother brought you here by giving birth to you, she immediately passed out. Before your mother came here, you were already in a womb. Yes. Your mother came here, she didn't tell anybody about your history. And it's so disheartening that immediately she gave birth to you. She kicked the bucket. She passed out. <laughs> So that is that is how No 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 My son No My son No Be strong as a man God. Be strong as a man You are beside your father it's well No Please Please, no, sit down, sit down. no, sit down. no, sit down. It's okay. You shall be well. Sit down. You are in the midst of your father. It's okay. This is Sanga Boka. You have visited the right channel. No. Now, my son. But Sanga Boka. Do I have any say in this? The D day is just to come. And I need to hand the documents to the rightful owner. What then can I do? After all, the, all the counselors have sat and have concluded. That I should hand the documents to the rightful owner. To the rightful owner, Sankaboka. My son. And now I have reason that I no longer belong here. What then do you advise, Sankaboka? I do. What then do you advise? I do. My son, you have come to the right channel. I am Sangamboka. I am not an ordinary Sangamboka. That's true, sir. What do you say, truth? When the council laws have been said. Now, there is nobody who should tell you whether you belong there or you belong here. I as Sangamoka must communicate with my forefathers. They will tell you and they will answer all my questions that I, as Sangamoka, will tell you who truly you are. So worry not. Yes, that. Good. But that is not enough. What next do you then advise? I do. It's a very good question. I like that. As Sangamoka and as a father to a son, my advice to you, you see, my son, when I remember your father, your father was a very good man. Your father was a good man. And your father loved you so much. Even in the spirit realm, 
where he is now, if I do things like Memen, his spirit will not rest. That's that is why, true. that is why I must consult my ancestors. And they will give me the answers to all these issues. Now, my son is getting it. Go home. Go home. Mary, my beautiful friend. This one that you are shining. I hope all is well. Just, I know you've come again with another gist. Of course. You cannot just come like that to my house. Tell me what's the problem. Anyways, that's not why I'm here. Mm -hmm. I came to give you the latest in town. You will not imagine the cancer of elders just had a meeting two days ago. I think that was on that was on Wednesday. Yes at Sangamboka's compound. Mm -hmm. And the entire truth about Intuka's real identity was disclosed in the open air. Huh? Hmm. Intuka. Which Intuka are you talking about? What nonsense question is that one? How many Intuka do you know? Ha, the one of course. The one we all knew. And is that why you insult me in my own house? I beg, stop it. Don't be insulting me like that in my house. You are in my house. Sorry, yo. I just came to inform you. You better be. Are you sure of what you're saying? Because I know you, you are full of lies. Are you sure of what you're saying? I'm saying the truth. As we speak, eh? The news is everywhere in the village. Anyways, that serves him right. Yes, it serves him right. Because I will not imagine a beautiful girl like you want to manage that bastard, that idiot, for a boyfriend and he's a dragon. It I serves him right. I would like to see how that his stupid wife would do when she finally learned the truth. <laughs> and it's because of her. I even lost into car. <laughs> Anyways, till then. But now, let's first of all go and visit her. Huh. Hmm? That's true. Uh, let me just finish up. to go everywhere. Are you done? Mm, even if I'm not done, we must go My there. dear, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, I beg. <laughs>
soon. Pretty soon, madam. My friends, since three days I haven't sent my eyes on you. What's happening? How are you? Mm -hmm. Tell us, how are you? When all your time in the whole world and concentration is based on Ituka, your husband. Mm -hmm. ah, that's not true. And you, you all know that. Just that I've been through a lot lately. But I'm fine now. Fine? Did you just say fine? And what's the meaning of that? What's the meaning of that, madam? Enough of the pretend. Yes. Enough of it because we all have heard that your husband is not having. Stop! Stop, just stop it. Let her talk. Uh -uh. Besides, it's everywhere. Excuse me. I don't, I don't get it. Are you here to mock me or what? Anyways, now that the truth has been revealed, what are you going to do? Are you still going to stick by that fatherless man? Okay. Yes. You, you two just stop, okay? Just stop it. I, I can't just stand here and watch you to talk to my husband like that. Even if he's not having a father, is he the only one without a father? Besides, he's my father and that's fine now. Ah, oh, all the time you come to my house, you always keep me in sad mode. I just can't take it anymore. When you are done standing here, you leave me. Oh, madam, sorry, you. Come to the house and make me sad. What do you mean of this Good afternoon, you guys. Oh, madam, that's too How are you doing? I'm fine. You're always fine anyway. And who are you up to this time around with the bag? You know my grandfather. I'm going to get some stuff from the market for you. As usual, anyway. What about you? What about you guys? What are you going to? Ah, we are going to. Uh, my grandfather told me something about Tukas in this house That Tata Mutias is not the biological father of Ituka. I'm telling you. So you've heard about it also? Mm -hmm. And they even said, the Tukas of Eda City said, the real father of Ituka has not been disclosed, although everybody already knows it. And that, that is too pit uncle. He's the one to inherit all his other assets. Since the poor man has no son to claim it. It's true, my dear. It's true, I'm telling you. But we are not certain about it till uh, Sanga Boka is back for me uh, in Boki Nikwanga. This is serious. But my grandfather told me in Boki Nikwanga uh, in the middle of the year is already a sacrilege on food. Hmm. That is very true. According to the tradition of our village. But if Sangaboka is at the midst of dilemma like he is right now, he has the right to invoke her for rightful solutions. He has the right. He cannot say anything about that. He has the right. Mm -hmm. We have nothing to say. Mm -hmm. Mama, go to the market or mm -hmm. your grandfather will be coming here with his stick again. What he did to me last time, I don't want it to repeat again. Hmm. It's okay, thank you very much. I'm going to read it. I'll see you guys later. Okay. okay. Alright. See you during the day. Alright, bye. Bye, Rose. I trust him. He will never, he will never pass his dictates without invoking uh, uh, Ikwanga about this.
Last one from Boca. And now for Burani. Burani is going to be in Boca. Boca is going to be here. He 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 is going to be here. There is a very big problem in the village that I understand that you fully know or very much away. The problem of parties. I wish to ask you that who can I give these properties and documents? Do I hand them to the son? Tuka? I'm fully much away, or I'm fully much away that this document should go to the sun.
Tanga Buka. Since this issue escalated in this village, people have not rested. I myself I have not rested. Since you traveled on a journey to see your fathers, uh, we haven't rested. Now that this council is here, tell us what your fathers told you and save us all from this suspense. Hmm. That is my wish. Honorable Councillor, thank you so much. Where is my son, Ituka? Tata, here I am. Give me those documents. Where are the documents? These are the documents. I don't know. Thank you. <coughs> Sit down. Tata, it's away. Your late brother told me he never visited me while he was sick. Your late brother told me you were always a loggerhead while he was alive. Your late brother told me that the distance between you two was too apart. That is all. Why then tell us? Why now? That, why, what, what is prompting you to come and inherit your brother's property now that is dead? Tell us. Not true, Tata. But Tata, my friend, shut up your mouth. Close that evil mouth. Diva and I are all in the mouth. Look at you. Is it a lie? Is it a lie? When your brother was alive, were you ever in peace with him? Look at you. Do you know how many of your cases that we've solved here while your brother was still alive? Let me ask you this, same, this, this, this very particular question. When your brother was alive, this your brother that is so claim that you love now so much. You, you are claiming now that all you want to claim is property, right? Yes. That's very good of you. It's my right. Your right, eh? <laughs> okay, let me ask you this simple question. This your brother now that you want to claim his property. Was he not the same person who was your worst enemy in this village? Answer that question. That's not true. Not true. We all know that he was your worst enemy. You never liked him. We all know that you never liked your brother. You planned everything. You planned everything as much as possible to kill him. And now you succeeded. Look at you, evil man. Honorable counselors. You see, I feel pity for this gentleman. These are people who were supposed to die for people like the late brother. Good people like the late brother to be alive. As I tell you now, get up from this place and leave. You idiot! It is so much evident, very, very evident that people like this are those dragging the rock of man's name in the world. Oroko man's name has been insulted because of people like this. Your brother was sick when he was alive. You couldn't pay him a delay visit. Your brother always a loggerhead with him. No respect. All was hated. Now he is dead. You want to come and claim his properties. It's a shameful act. My son, it's okay. Tata. Get up. With the powers bestowed upon me by my ancestors, and with the power of Sandra Booker, I hand you these documents to you. Your late father has greeted you. And he said, for the fact of your hard work, you take this as your reward. Go and I pray that our ancestors will live to see you through. Go. Thank you, Tata. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, my fathers, for being good leaders without any blemish. No! Etuka! It's not yet over! I'm telling you that it's not yet over! Go and celebrate! I will fight it! Go! Good
You will see it. You cannot win it. That property is mine. Shame on you. Shame on you. Yes, my brother. I beg for leave now. I wish the Celebrate this victory. <laughs> it is over. Ah, you are not saying anything. I have said it is over. We need to celebrate this victory. My husband, I am still not comfortable with the fact that everything has been given back to us. I am not happy. I know this Oroko people when it comes to property. Farm issue. Coco farm for that matter. Hmm. I don't think this your wicked uncle will let go of that farm so easily. My husband, I foresee danger. Do you hear me? Read my lips. Danger. That is what I see. I don't mind of any danger that will come. I don't care. After all, the village council has given the verdict. And that is final. I will not listen to anything that any person says. I won't. Hey, My papers hey, are here. It is this same stubbornness that killed your own father. My father-in-law. It's this same stubbornness. And you want to take the same step. Why can't you listen to me for once? Why? What's wrong have I done? I am your wife. You need to listen to me. I don't care even what you are saying presently. I know my rights have been given. Really? Sangamboka has handed over my documents to the farm and I am very comfortable with them. I don't care to what any other thing that the public will say. You don't care? I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. Okay, fine. If you don't mind. If you don't mind. It's okay. I'm it's, tired. it's okay, Ituka. Since you don't want to listen to me, your wife, then go ahead with your decision. I'm tired. Let go me ahead have with your decision. Let me have As you can see, I was busy before you came. Just go. Just let me be, please. What kind of a woman is it? Even when the rights have been given, is it a problem? I'm tired. Let me have a rest. This man, you won't kill me in this house. You won't kill me like seriously. In short, just come back here. Come back here. I'm not done talking. Come back here. We need to sort this out, eh? You must listen with me. My husband. Yes, my lord. 
I called you my husband because I know you will listen to me. But I always do listen from you. I think I have an idea to put an end to this whole garbage. Sound of the drum your uncle is playing. I do not. My wife, can't do You see, the idea is correct. You have a positive idea to put an end to this old garbage. But it has a damage in my personality. Again, let me tell you, it is very abominable. Into the Oracle man's custom and tradition, for a son to sell a property to him. Not just a property, I mean a cocoa farm that has been handed to him by his own father, which stands as a heredity for him. It will increase the mockery of your husband if he took us in here. Really? In this community. Yes, of course. Okake Ote, don't just go there. Else, the Ituka you see, it's okay. Why can't you listen to me? Even just for once. I am your wife and remember you always promise to make me happy. My love. Remember your husband has ears. I have ears. And I listen with my ears. But not everything that I listen. That I put it correct. Let me ask you this question. Will you love the degree of mockery to your own husband to reduce or to increase? Etuka, are you listening to others out there or you're doing what you're supposed to do? I don't reason to. I don't reason from others outside. I reason as a man, a matured man that you, you are married to. Then behave like, behave as man. That is why I think like a man. Permit me, I have something to do. Permit me, it's okay. Oh my god, why is this man so stubborn? I'm really sick and tired of everything. But I have tried my best. People should not blame me. I have tried my best. Keep on trying my best. I can't let you do this much more. Keep on trying. That's me. My husband.
I know you are a good friend to my husband. I had a dream. A nightmare, in fact. Let's hurry up with his documents. As fast as possible. Even if it's to double the money for him to leave, leave this village. As fast as in two days. Let's just do it once and for all. And forget about this. So why did you get? I'll save some money. Yeah, okay. I believe I can add to what you guys have. It's about two hundred thousand francs. It can, it can make a legit, a legit visa for him to leave this country. Really? Yes, my friend. You mean three hundred thousand francs? Boss, you are really more than a brother and a father to my husband. My God will surely bless you for me. I will keep continue. I will keep praying for you again, again, and again. It's okay. That's fine. I'm in short, I'm so happy. I am excited. My husband will be leaving the village very soon. I will, go I will go straight away to the house to start packing his belongings. Yeah. Eh? Well, How do you see? Once more, I thank you very much. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, it's so okay. you can do something like this. Okay. Your My husband, I'm going home. Please. It's okay. Where we are. It's Please. short. Let me just go home and start packing his belongings. Eh? Let me leave you guys for now. Hey, it's My husband. Hey, boss. My God. Hey. 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 What's my finally doing? Why is it that you always take me You know, you're my brother. Not a friend anymore, you're my brother. I'm surprised.
seen. Please, I wish to have a word with you and to seek your good counsel on something. It's okay. Why don't Sometimes, like someone who is above the source, that man is not pleased at all. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want that man to forever scratch my baby's body. He is evil. But the question here now is what do we do? What do we do? That's all right. Absolutely. Me and Ichika, your husband. We are doing something about this whole issue. Moreover, we are working very, very hard to see if we can pray. The worst of this is that that man is a very bad egg. But don't bother yourself. Just go home. No man will ask. I don't understand. You mean I should go home? Yeah, just go home and shut it. Well. Are you really sure you guys are thinking about something positive? What's my heart. Okay, Busi. If you say so, you know I trust you. Yeah, just come down. Go home. Okay, if you say so, I believe you. Okay. Fine, let me just go. I had some things to do in the house. Sure, take care. Okay, take care too. Must guide you. Please talk to my husband. You go should do something. Before I die young in this village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye bye.